Hey, people. So, today's my second last day. Where the hell did she go? Um, where is she? I'm currently at work. Um, my second last day here. Um, I work at a women's shelter in Niagara region. Um, honestly, I, it's my second last day. Might even be my, my last day. Might just call in sick tomorrow. There's an on-call person. Someone can cover me. Um, I'm honestly so over it. So, my dream's literally always been to be a social worker <clears throat> and a teacher. Like, those are the two things. Anytime somebody asked me when I was growing up, what do you want to be? Teacher. Then when I learned what a social worker was, I wanted to be a social worker. Um, did school, did placements, volunteered at several different things, worked with lots of different clientele. Um, I've always wanted to work with women and children, um, abuse women and children, you know? So I thought that working here would be great. So when I started, I was like so happy. You know, I was like, I finally got a position in my field. Like after all this First time, first shift like, completed at a woman's shelter. I am officially a relief woman's advocate, so I'm just part time. Um, but finally in my field, woo woo! So yeah, it wasn't even that bad. Because everywhere always wants you to be like, um, no, sorry, everywhere always wants you to have like 10 years experience and you just graduated how am i supposed to have 10 years experience why is the light like that there we go how am i supposed to have 10 years of experience well it's not actually 10 years but like let's say they would ask you for like three years full-time experience or whatever but how am i supposed to get that much experience if i just finished school we only do placement for six months so where am i getting that experience and if you're not going to hire me Again, where am I going to get the experience? So whatever. I was super happy. Came to work here and everything. Did it for a year and a half. Wanted to quit since day two. Um, honestly, because I'm part-time, maybe that's why. I just don't feel like I'm really doing anything. I'm getting paid to sit here. And as much as people might think, like, oh, that's amazing. Like, you're getting paid, like, a good amount it's not even a good amount like I'm lying it's not even a good amount it's just not minimum wage but you're getting paid whatever amount of dollars to just sit there which is great stack up rack it up whatever but my dream is to be a social worker so I don't care about the money I don't want to sit here and do nothing I could literally sit here edit my videos um, read a book watch a freaking series or something like it's just crazy you know and we're supposed to be focusing mainly on housing so that's another thing they'd be like oh you're not supposed to um you know this job you're mainly just supposed to be referring them to housing so any problems or issues that they have just refer they're depressed refer them to a counselor they blah 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 refer them to this da -da -da -da, refer them to this so then what is my job just to help them find a house but what about all the things that cause them to get here in the first place what about all the reasons why they can't maintain their rent why they can't maintain a job like there's things that are deeper than just finding them a house so that's one thing um number two i'm basically it's not even number two it's number one it's number one two three four five six seven it's like the reason um but like another reason i just feel like a caretaker and a babysitter like like i said i'm literally here sitting down not doing anything or they come and be like oh i need this i need that i need that blah blah, blah, blah. like everything they want everything um or a caretaker we gotta clean up the bathrooms which i don't want to do like i don't want to clean up after somebody else we're tr supposed to be empowering women that's what our job is but it's not a hotel. I'm not going to clean up the bathroom for you. Like, they should have chores. I stayed here before. You know, like, 10 to 12 years ago, I had to... I was a person in a shelter. I was, like, 20 and whatever. My life was just down the drain, you know? So, but when I lived here, um, we had chores. Everybody had something they had to do every single week. Now we're just babying them. 
like we're gonna clean up after them we bring them their food upstairs they don't want to do certain things and we don't get on their case you can come back here if you're drunk as long as you don't make a problem like it's just not for me and so i'm hoping that i can find the job that is the job of my dreams maybe work with cas maybe work in a different shelter but full-time one that's specifically for women and children of abuse like maybe that's what i'll find but i'm super happy that it's my last day honestly getting that a year and a half experience was great thank you so much but i'll be out now you know like even just the fact it's not even just being here too you know because people are just nasty in general this one girl left by ambulance today because she's sick why is she coughing out not even covering her mouth none of them like so many people don't cover their mouth so it's not just people living in the shelter just people period and i'm sorry but if there's like you're living in a house with like 20 other women cover your freaking mouth use hand sanitizer there's coronavirus going around why are you gonna put everyone at risk we don't know what the hell you have in the ambulance the paramedics put on the mask and you're just gonna be coughing out in the, the wide open space like ridiculous you know all i know is i'm super happy um you gotta take risks you know if something doesn't make you happy quit that shit like money isn't everything and there's always gonna be some other way to make money just take a risk and do what's best for you. Don't let anyone talk you into staying in something that doesn't make you happy. I know I'm going to be super happy once I leave. really think today's my last day. Calling in sick, bitches. <laughs> um, what am I going to do tomorrow instead? I don't know. But I know it won't be anything here. <laughs> So the verdict is I did not call in today. Um, decided I'll just work my last shift, might as well, right? What's the point? I mean, I know they can't fire me, but what if I need a reference later on down the line or whatever? I don't want to screw that up by calling in sick on my last day. That was my girlfriend and my cousin who said, don't call in, don't call in, so I listened. Um, so yeah, my last day currently watching Jumanji. <laughs> like, you know, no one's awake yet. So it's great. I get to do nothing, right, for money, but I'm bored.